And the topic is fashion. <laughs> OK, Mickey. <laughs> Bound to be, wasn't it? <laughs> I've returned to the vest. Um, happened a couple of years ago. I was walking through Marx's to get me pants. You always go back to Marx's. And, uh, <laughs> they know. They look at you. They go, you come back. And you, <laughs> you went the next, didn't you? You got flash. <laughs> and uh, I saw the vest. <laughs> I saw the vest, packet of singlet vest. I thought, I'm having them. <laughs> Put them in my basket. I've covered them over like pornography. <laughs> got to the counter. I said to the woman, get them in the bag, love. Get them in the bag. <laughs> I shook one of these vests out, I thought, put it on, I thought, that is the answer. <laughs> the wife came home, she said, what's all this with the vest? I said, I like them, I'm, I'm returned to the vest. She said, I don't mind, but only indoors. <laughs> so for a couple of years, I've worn the vest, sort of in secret. <laughs> but the other day, I'd had a couple of cans of beer and I wanted a couple more, so I got up to go out and my wife said, the, 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 the vest. I said, no more. <laughs> I refuse to live a lie. <laughs> I'm standing up for vest wearers all over the world. <laughs> I marched off down the office. I've got two cans of Stella Arturis. <laughs> Put one in my back pocket, cracked the other one open. And I walked back from the office in my vest. <laughs> I made a discovery. You drink a can of Stella and wear a vest, you get a bit of space. <laughs> Where you at or where you at? <laughs>